In this video we're going to look at how we can add a key value pair to a dictionary and at the same time introduce more terminology to describe Python dictionaries. This is a program that we saw in the last video in the playlist. On this line we create a dictionary and on this line we actually print out the value associated with the key that in this case is the key UK. If we consider a diagrammatic representation of the dictionary, what we can see is I'm going to have a container object called capitals. Now it's called capitals because that's what the name of the dictionary is. And this is often referred to as a container type or a container object because it's going to contain other objects. Now the other objects, well we're going to see those here. You see, what I've got in this column are the keys, and what I have in this column are the values. So this here is an example of a key-value pair, where UK is the key and London is the value. If I come down here, we have another key-value pair. Now this is referred to as an item, the whole thing. This here is also referred to as an item, where the key is Germany and the value is Berlin. So if I look at this particular dictionary, it contains three items, and each item is an example of a key value pair. If I now consider what's going to happen when this program runs, when I come to this line, it's going to refer to the container object, which we can see here is capitals, which is this lot. It's then going to look for this key, which is UK, which is found in this item here, and of course the value is going to be obtained and the value will then be printed to the runtime as you can see here. Now you will know from previous work in the playlist that I like to use diagrams a lot to explain what's going on when a Python program is executing and here you can see I've got a schematic diagram of a dictionary. Now we can represent this schematically in a number of different ways. There's this way here that I've been discussing in this video. Another way in which we can do it is shown here where we have a container and the container contains the items and then we label all of this with the name which you can see is capitals. Another way in which we can represent a dictionary in a schematic diagram is shown here. Here we can see we have the container with the items and separate from this lot, we have the name, and this name is bound to the container. Now you will often hear that everything in Python is an object, and that's true. So we can see that here, this container is an example of an object. And we know all objects are bound to a name. And in this case, this particular object, the container object, is bound to this name here capitals. And if we have a look at the items, well London for example is a string which is an object. So what we have when we're dealing with dictionaries are objects contained within other objects, where the container object in this case is the dictionary. Having considered some of the terminology associated with dictionaries, let's now turn our attention to how do we add a key pair item to a particular dictionary. Well, I'm going to use this diagrammatic representation of a dictionary here, the first one we came across in this particular video. And what I want to do is to look at it before, as you can see here, and what I'm attempting to do is this. I want to see, right, when I apply a program statement to the dictionary and I look at it after, I want to see another item added to the dictionary which in this case will be this item where the key is Belgium and the value is Brussels because Brussels is in fact the capital of Belgium. Now the program statement responsible for adding the item where the key is Belgium and the value is Brussels is shown here and you can see that the syntax is pretty straightforward. What it's doing here, it's referring to the dictionary and then you can see it's using square brackets here and within the square brackets it has the word Belgium in quotes because Belgium is going to be a string in this particular case and of course it's going to refer to the key and we're going to assign 
to this particular key, Brussels. Consequently, we can see that Brussels is assigned to this key within this dictionary, and consequently we have the before here and the after here with Belgium and Brussels added to the dictionary. Here we can see a Python program that will show the addition of an item to a dictionary. Here we can see on this line we have the creation of the capitals dictionary with the three items as you can see here, here and here. And this is the line of code we've just been discussing and what this is going to do is going to add the item to the dictionary where the key pair is Belgium Brussels. And this line is simply going to print out capitals, print out the dictionary. And when we do that, this is what we can expect to see. And you can see here that we have one, two, three, four items. And there is the item which is the key pair of Belgium Brussels, where Belgium is the key and Brussels is the value. Let's now consider this computer program here. And it's essentially the same as the one we've just seen. The first two lines, in fact, are identical. This creates the dictionary with the three items. Here we've added another item where the key value pair is Belgium Brussels. And on this line, what we're doing, we're going to the dictionary and we're going to get at this key, which is Belgium, and we're going to print the value associated with the key Belgium and we can see that when the program runs we get Brussels as the output. Check out the supporting website for these videos. In addition, why not follow me on Twitter as I issue a tweet every time I upload a new video.